Uh, all right, the daily has started. Um, we have kind of an awkward hand. It's a pretty strange one. If this was a secret coast, I would probably just keep it. We have a gut shot for a turn one play. Like I said, uh, Nyapod and Delver are the most common matchups. Um, three Vapor Snacks is kind of a lot. If our opponent answers our Delver, it's uh, this hand turns from reasonable to terrible. Um, we're on the draw. We cannot even play our Delver on the first turn. I'm I'm just going to ship this. If this was a Seacrom coast, I would probably keep it, but it was still close. But Delver Mulligans reasonably well. This hand's not great either. We have three lands, which is quite a bit in your opener, especially there's, since there's another pro, uh, there's a probe as well. We do have a ponder, but some ponders will have to shuffle. We don't have any creatures, which is not great with Delver in general, but with an aggressive list like this, it's even worse. But I think I will keep this. Um, it's certainly possible this hand uh, it will not pan out, but... Um, I'm going to probe on, uh, for life here on turn 1, hoping to hit a Delver, but also to give me information uh, to ponder. Oh, he's playing a spirit list, it looks like. He has kind of an uh, awkward hand as well. He had a Delver, but he couldn't play it. Ponder, ponder, dungeon. His, his hand is pretty good, uh, though. Let's see, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes. Mm. So we have an answer for his uh, ter uh, for his Delver next turn. Um, we drew another land, which is not great, but we drew an Angel, which is uh, matching up reasonable against his hand. Um, yeah, the, I, I'm not going to keep this. Like the false scar doesn't really do anything except make our pikes a little better. The gut, a second gut shot is not really what we're looking for now in the land neither. So. Vapor Snack is not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, he's casting a Ponder instead of his Delver. Okay. He didn't shuffle. Um, well, we drew a Mutagen Grove, which is not very good at the moment. Um, like, di cards like this are better when you're, uh, when you're, uh, actually pressuring your opponent. Which we currently aren't. We, we do repre represent Mana League at the moment, which might mean he's not playing anything. And we can, yeah, he's not playing our... He didn't shuffle again. He's not uh, playing his Delver into our potential man league, it looks like. So that, that that's pretty good for us. Well, it wouldn't really have mattered, but might mean he has his own, uh, own man league here. Fortunately, this has flash, so we can, uh, we can just keep playing this uh, pretending to have man league game. Okay, now he's casting his Delver, which is fine. There's no reason to gutshot this right now. Uh, he's casting something else. Possibly the just the Dorkskull Captain. Mm. Another card that's not, not great without any pressure. So he's thinking about this gut shot, probably means he has a vapor snack for his Delver. Which which we are fine with. And since he has mana league mana open, there's no reason to main face this angel. I 
I will just cost it end of turn. Mana Leak is going to be good against our Angel no matter what, since he's he has more than enough lands. Uh, so we know two of his five cards. Uh, Dungeon Geist and Droxkull uh, Captain. It's kind of awkward against his um, Dungeon Geist. Hmm... Yeah, uh, we can just vapor snag it and recast it during combat if he. Uh... He's just vapor snagging it right now. Okay. I don't think that was the right play, but yeah. Uh, you can check the cards over here. Um, so there isn't something to keep in mind. He has Droxkull Captain plus Dungeon Guys. Dungeon Guys is a spirit. So once the the Droxkull Captain is in play, it's we it has hexproof. We are just looking for like a guys to Saint draft. Man leaks not great here. But might not be terrible. Let's see. I don't know why he didn't save his Delver. Instead of like now he just prevented three damage and dealt us one. Oh yes, a sword. Mm. I'm fine with sword. I will manually if he casts his drug skull captain here. Bonder is not bad. Hmm. We have a uh, glacial fortress and gutshot, which are terrible in our uh, uh, in the current position. Uh, we do have false scour, so what I'm actually going to do, we have a reasonable amount of mana, so I'm just going to uh, draw the false scour and mill them away. It adds another inst two instant sorceries to the graveyard for potential pikes, and it makes our deck better than if we shuffle it. So. Um, Morland Hall is not terrible, but we currently don't have any creatures in our graveyard since we haven't really been drawing them. Uh, something to keep in uh, I should have kept in mind was that it's possible I should have shuffled actually. I didn't really think think it through enough. Like now we can dungeon geist uh, our angel and we can snag it but not replay it. Casting his Droxel Captain, which we are fine with. Hopefully he casts his Dungeon Guys now, but he's likely just equipping his uh, sword. Which we are also fine with. See, I think I'm just going to snag at this end of turn. It allows us to push through three more damage. We all, all already have a feeling of dread. We have another vapor snag. If I had only one vapor snag, I probably wouldn't do this. But he has a uh, equipment with a lot of lands, which means he is likely favored for the longer game. And there's a geist that's very good for us. Yeah, now I'm feeling very confident about this game.
This is kind of an old version of Delver. I haven't really seen it in a while. It appears he's not playing black for uh, uh, so he likely doesn't have lingering souls either. Let's see if he plays dungeon geist here, we can just snag it and turn, uh, meaning he's just dead basically. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So Drogskull Captain is the only card we know about. <laughs> Looks like he's equipping. Or is he playing his uh, Captain? If he plays his Captain we manually get. If he equips we can just Vapor Snag this end of turn. Oh, he's casting something else. Ponder. Okay. Yeah, now he's just dead. Like, he needs a vape snag, and we can just. We can snag his dungeon guys and leak his snag. And he takes exactly. Uh, exactly 9 plus 1 from the vapor snag. Dungeon guys doesn't match up very well against Restoration Angel or guys of Saint Draft. Oh, he's bouncing our, he's snagging our angel, and we can just leak that as well. Oh, yes, a mental misstep. Main deck did not really expect that, but we'll just leak that too. Um, at the start, I didn't really expect us to win this game, he, uh, but he drew a c couple of lands too, too, too many, and uh, we drew guys to St. Trav now, which puts a reasonable clock on him. I guess I could have just let this... no. Yeah, I could... I, I could have just let his mental mistake resolve and feeling of dread plus mutant and growth, but since he tapped his mana, I uh, if he didn't tap mana, but mm. yeah, okay, uh, let's uh, make cyber plan. He's not playing any uh, any guys for Saint Charles, very likely. So image is not that great against his version as against regular versions. Uh, mental misstep is certainly coming in. Um, question is, is Sword Ballad and Pike, and I don't think so. Like, I don't think he's playing Lingering Souls because we haven't seen a single Black Swords yet, and he didn't have that many land, uh, cards in his hand, so it seems unlikely. I I kind of like Manalik against his version since he's playing a lot of uh, sorcery speed, uh, expensive cards, and probably not not a lot of angels. Uh, I haven't seen the Cavern of Souls either. So I think I'm bringing in a second mana leak and a mental misstep. Mm, anything else I might want? No, I don't think so. I I haven't seen a lot from his deck, so it's possible I want images, but so let's see what do we want to take out. Mm. Uh, Mutagen Grove is not that great. He's, uh, we haven't seen a single angel yet. And it's decent at pushing through a Geist, but I don't think we have a lot of problems with that with a feeling of dread for gut shots and uh, for vapor snacks already. Is there anything that's worse than a second man leak? I'm actually not sure. Let's see. He has four snapcasters and four. Delver is very likely, so I like all the four good shots. Nah, I'll just leave the mana leak in the sideboard. Uh, 